obviously a lot of them are from the game chasers like uh youtube channel have been featured on there and all that obviously alpha omega sin sorry something fell but uh like i said a lot of these autographs are
favorite ones. And that is Charles Martinet. And he plays Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, uh, I think even the baby Mario characters. He did a lot. <laughs> and obviously, given that I'm a fan of Luigi's Mansion, I got him to sign a Luigi's Mansion themed picture. So, I also met him at a convention, but it was uh, a convention kind of localish to me. And uh, I got to go up, and it was super, super cool because I told him that I was a big fan of Luigi's Mansion. And funny enough, this was like maybe a month after, or maybe two months after Luigi's Mansion 3 got announced. And uh, I told him how much I loved Luigi's Mansion and, you know, and all that. So he wrote, like, help on it. Um, and he said, Luigi, and then, you know, his signature down here. It was super, super cool because as he wrote everything, he, like, also said it. And he said it all in Luigi's voice because he knew I liked Luigi. Uh, so he said, like, super sack in his Luigi accent. And then you everything else. And what's actually really, really cool is after the convention, I uh, I obviously got this framed. I have all my autographs framed, or at least most of them. And um, I told Charles, I, I sent him a DM on Twitter and sent him this framed. And I told him, like, thank you for being so cool, so nice, and all that. And he responded with, uh, I don't remember what he responded with, but, you know, he said, thank you for, you know, supporting. Uh, Nintendo and or something like that and uh, it was just really really cool so there is Luigi from Luigi's Mansion sorry that was loud okay this next one might be a little controversial but nonetheless this is the CD from Jamie Lynn Spears of uh, when she redid the theme song from the Nickelodeon show Zoe 101. Um, basically, uh, this one it, it, this one's not as personalized. This one's probably the least personalized of the stuff I got. But basically, uh, like people paid to get into this you know stream to see the Zoe 101 reunion kind of thing. And I didn't get the, like, most premium package. I think it's about, like, $25. And I got this. Uh, I got a shirt. I got the download code of the song. I got a decent amount of stuff. And, uh, either way, it was, uh, pretty cool to get this. Uh, it's obviously signed by Jamie Lynn. Um, I don't have much else to say. Uh, there's not really much of an experience with this one like the other ones. But, uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Next up here, Catherine Date. Um, so, spoiler alert, I actually also have David Tennant's autograph, and I kind of regret not, because I wanted originally to see if I can get David Tennant to sign the other half, but um, I didn't end up doing that. So I kind of wish I got like a picture of Donna Noble or Catherine Date on her own. But nonetheless, still a great picture. Uh, and it says, because uh, I got this very, very much personalized, it says to Zach from the library to Midnight and the Medusa Cascade, Donna Noble, a.k.a. Catherine Tate. Really freaking cool. Um, I love Doctor Who. It's my favorite TV show. It's definitely fallen in quality, in my opinion, over the years. Like... Like, I wasn't a huge fan of Matt Smith's Doctor. Uh, I mean, it was mostly the writing of his episodes. But then I liked Peter Capaldi's Doctor. But then, I don't like Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. So it seems to be kind of an alternating thing here. But, uh, nonetheless, really happy to get Catherine Tate uh, autograph. Keeping on the trend of Doctor Who. This is my most recent edition. Much love from the TARDIS. 
she wanted to get to know me and same with Billy actually um they wanted to get to know me more and uh, it was really really cool it felt super like uh like almost like a human interaction which is weird because we are human but nonetheless still amazing and Billy was like so sweet I I like I, I don't know why I didn't expect Billy Piper to be like that nice and she was so it makes me even happier to get her autograph uh, and I'm keeping these forever obviously my very last autograph that I have and I kind of spoiled it to you guys earlier but it's David freaking Dennett David Dennett is one of my favorite actors of all time um, I love him whether it's in Doctor Who or Harry Potter or Broadchurch just so much different stuff that he was in and that he just did an amazing job on and he's also just such a funny wholesome human being now David Dennett didn't have the video chat option like Billy Piper and Catherine Tate did but I'm just happy enough to get his autograph um, now I think I might have done a stupid because the other two had like little custom messages and I thought I typed one in for David but I guess I but nonetheless, it still has my name, which is, to me, the most important thing. It's personalized. And this is to Zach David Tennant. And, uh, yeah, it's super cool. Very happy to have this in my collection. So there you have it, guys. Those are the autographs that I have in my personal collection. Uh, I very much love uh, collecting autographs specifically from, like, actors or uh, whatever that I grew up watching. Uh, like, you know, with Doctor Who and Harry Potter, even like with Jamie Lynn Spears, and honestly, Random Encounters is more modern, but I absolutely uh, love having these autographs in my collection. I definitely want to go for more Doctor Who autographs. Like, maybe I can get, like, Alex Kingston, um, or, uh, maybe Freeman Aikman if she ever does the Galaxy Con stuff. I don't know. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the autographs I've gotten over the past few years. Um, I love them. They're pretty cool. And, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time. I'll see you guys in the next